everyone, it's Alexis and I'm back today with another card featuring the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero October 2019 kit and an add-on uh, and one Stampin' Up! stamp set. Um, I'm running a little behind on the cards for this. I had a bunch made, well not a bunch, I had two, but I ran out of, um, one of my Copic markers ran out of ink. Uh, and this Stampin' Up! set I'm only using um, it's the Christmas Pines one, I'm only using that snow in there. Um, so here I am taking the car stamp and I'm kind of lining it up to figure out where I want it but I want the tree to be stamped first so that's why the car is down. Um, because when you're masking whatever you want to be in the foreground you have to stamp first and then put the mask on. So that's what I did there. I actually messed up on this card but I kind of just went with it. I was like whatever. <laughs> I didn't feel like starting over and it didn't really look that bad like um, my husband didn't notice anything wrong with the card. I had to point it out to him and he still said it looked fine. So I stamped the tree and um, now I am putting the card back the car back where I want it and then getting that present and this is where I messed up. I should have just stamped the car first but I stamped the present first so you'll see what I mean when I say I messed up but eh, it really wasn't that bad. So then I'm putting some masks on the present and the tree and then I will um, stamp the car next. But after this video I have two more cards featuring this kit and then I will move on to something else. The kit is still available so it's not like I'm doing this for no reason. <laughs> like where you guys couldn't buy it. And I didn't stamp that well enough. Um, you'll see me fix um, some lines after I'm done uh, stamping everything, but I should have inked it up again and then stamped it again, but oh well. So I'm just getting all my presents stamped out. I'm trying to make it look like where the car is going down the road, has the Christmas tree on the top, and then some presents are flying out of the trunk. And my head gets in the way. It does that quite a bit in this video. I tried cutting out a lot of my head bloopers. <laughs> I was like, they don't need to see that. So then I took the masking off and this is where I'm going in with a Copic um, lining pin or something like that. I don't know what it is. Um, and I'm just fixing those lines where I didn't stamp well enough. And then since it's a Copic, it's made for use with Copics, it won't smear um, when I go to do my Copic coloring. So I forgot to pause before the coloring to show you the uh, colors. I do after the coloring, but this is R35, R37, and R39. And I'm just, those are my go-to reds. I use them with everything, like if you sell my, um, Stampin' Up! Cardinal um, cards. I use the reds for those. I only have one set of reds and it's these. These are just, they're exactly the color I want. So I'm just, I blend by taking the lightest color and going over the whole image with that and then I take the darkest color and then the second darkest and then I blend it out again with the lightest color. That's how I do it. Some people don't feel the need to stick the lightest color on the image first. They just start out with starting to blend the colors together, but I find it blends easier when you already have a coating down. And this is all on um, Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And what I'm doing there by touching the nibs together, if it doesn't blend well enough or I want it to blend easier, Touching the nibs together will make it to where it blends better. And I think this card panel is five and a quarter by four inches. I always do that pretty much on my cards, leave like a little border. And I'm using that same red to go over that um, package that has flown out. <laughs> I 
I have so many cards. I honestly have like no friends, <laughs> just family. And I have been making so many cards. Like I have enough cards to probably send three to five cards to each person. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm in like a Christmas kick lately. And I have just been making cards consistently when I don't need to. <laughs> And then I'm coloring that bow again with the same red colors. And then there's where I um, screen, pause the screen so you can see the colors if you wanted to know what colors I was using. And I was just using the colorless blender there just to push any red that had came out of the lines and push it back in its place. <laughs> and then I'm using G43, G40, and G46 as my greens for my Christmas tree. Same thing, I am just laying down the G40 on the base of the tree, or all of the tree, I guess I should say, as the base color. Um, after I'm done, like, with the tree itself, you don't really see this color at all, but I find that when you put this down, it looks better, I guess. I don't know. And I'm not really doing blending motions with this. I'm doing more of slashes to like give the illusion of branches and pine needles or no, I guess not pine needles. Well, is it pine needles? I don't know. Anyways, I think it is pine needles. I don't know. I'm, I don't have real tree. I just, I have a fake one. <laughs> and so then I am just taking, I took the darkest color first and then I'm taking the middle color and just going over that. And then once I'm done with that, I take the dark marker again and just add a few more slashes just to have like different depths, I guess, of the green. But yeah, you see there my present is, oh, here's what I'm doing the tree trunk with E59 and E57. But that present that's on the side of the car um, was supposed to be kind of peeking out of the trunk, but I had brain fog <laughs> in my stamping. I didn't do it right. And I'm just taking BG10 to do the windows, just to give it some color. You could also add glassy, gl glossy accents over the um, windows of the car, but I decided not to do that. I had a lot going on with glitter and gems and all that. I didn't need it. Um, but yeah, my present is stamped on the side of the car instead of inside, but with the way, um, there's the paws of those gray colors, but the way that I, um, have the card where presents are falling out of the car or whatever, it really didn't matter. Now, if I had tried to keep all the presents in the car, then we'd have a problem. <laughs> and so I'm just doing all the, uh, chrome work with <clears throat> those markers. You could probably use lighter color cool grays if you wanted to do that to where it's like maybe looks more like chrome but these are the colors that I had and I wasn't going to be buying more. And I feel like it looks fine. I did red on the car because um, where I lived there when I was growing up there was a McDonald's and it had like an old car inside of it like literally inside the McDonald's in the middle of the floor <laughs> and it was um, red and it had sparkles and like the paint and everything and so when I saw this car image in the stamp set it reminded me of that. So for the tires I took the darkest cool gray color I have. I think it was uh, either C8 or C6, one of the two. And I used that to do the uh, tires. And then I'm using C6 to add the darker area to the bumpers. And I'm using Y18 for the front um, light. I also used it later in the backlight, but like as soon as I laid it down, I was like, I probably should have made the backlight red. <laughs> but oh well. And so here I'm using RV25, R37, FYG1, I think, and then those other two colors because that went too fast for me to say. And I'm just using those on the ornaments. I don't use it for anything else. 
I was trying to use like really bright colors for the ornaments because when I looked up 1950s Christmas and stuff like that, it was a lot of bright colors. And here I am with those same grays that I used earlier and I am coloring that um, bow on the package. I think when I've done this card on all my cards that I've used at package it's the same thing. A red package and like a silvery bow That's what I'm trying to aim for. Because in the last video I talked about how it reminded me of a package from my childhood. Oh I feel like my voice is grainy. <clears throat> Maybe it's the change in season. So I forgot to show you what colors I used um, for that package, but I used B01 and B04. They're not the best blending markers, but they got the job done. I know that's the Y18 that I'm shading as a darkest color, and I can't see what the other one is. It's either Y06 or Y08. I don't know what to do to stop the silence. Oh, and here I am using, um, for that package, V06 and V09. I don't think I stopped it for that one either. But they're just violet colors. Honestly, you don't even have to use the same colors I use. Just use whatever you have. You don't even have to blend if you don't want to. Just, I mean, when I first started out uh, stamping, I just used Sharpies. <laughs> uh, you use what you have. And then for the, oh wait, I did show that. Hmm. And then for the green package, I used YG23 and YG17. I will say that there's not really that big of a difference between the two colors, but they're the greens that I have on hand, so I just use them as best as I can. But the shading with them isn't like the best. I probably should find a different combination, but I'm too lazy. I feel like finding good Copics to blend with is like science. You have to do your research, a few trial and errors, <laughs> keep experimenting. And then here I am taking um, my embossing tool thing and it's like baby powder and it's because I'm getting ready to emboss so I'm putting those snowflakes on. I do emboss off camera because um, my embossing gun was across the room because I forgot to plug it in back behind my desk, so yeah. And I'm using Stampin' Up Shimmer White Embossing Powder, and it is like a white embossing powder with glitter in it, and I really like it. And then I also realized that I wanted to stamp a few um, odd stars, well not star, but well one is a star I think. Anyways, snowflake star things, so I just took a paintbrush and removed the embossing powder in the area that I wanted to stamp the those images in and then it worked out fine. See here I am and <laughs> if you can even qualify that for a paintbrush it's like a paintbrush that's lost all its bristles but I actually do like it just because it, it's easier for me to control what embossing powder I'm brushing off so I keep it around. <laughs> but yeah it's, it's the hairless paintbrush. <laughs> And here I am just stamping those images and then putting the embossing powder back on those. And here I am taking Hickory Smoke, Chipped Sapphire, and Black Soot to do my road and um, nighttime sky for this card. And I'm just using, I think they're Tim Holtz, like, blender sponges or something like that. I have the um, life-changing blending brushes, but those blend very light, which I like for certain cards. And then for um, 
other cards like a sky, like this one, a night sky, I want the ink to be um, darker, more loud. So I'm using those and just trying to keep those masks on. I kind of had to fiddle with them. My trunk, <laughs> my trunk got a little dark. <laughs> but I just took a Copic and went over it and I think it looks fine. You don't notice anything. If you don't even want the presence on this, all you have to do is um, don't ink up the trunk part, like the lid of the trunk um, when you stamp, and then it can just be a car. It doesn't have to have an open trunk. And then I am taking, um, what is that, hickory smoke, I think, the gray. And I'm just going around the edges because I wanted to, you know, like it's a snowstorm, so I just didn't want blue. I wanted like a little bit of a stormy type of feel to it, so I added a little gray. And I left the middle a little lighter because it kind of reminded me, like it looked like a snowstorm to me. But it gets covered with my sentiment anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I'm just taking my mask, and there's my head again. <laughs> I'm just taking my mask and putting it over. That way when I blend this next part, um, it doesn't get all over my um, sky. And then I realized that I did not put a mask on my present and I was about to ruin it. <laughs> so I'm taking that gray again. Um, I do a layer of gray and then I do black. Just for like kind of a little bit of differentness. Differentness. That is not a word. Um, a little bit of difference in the colors on my road. But I guess if you really wanted to, you could um, just use the black. I like to make my life difficult, so I did two steps. <laughs> I thought about taking some um, puff paint and making snow on the ground, but I was like, nah, we'll just leave it. And now I'm just removing all the masks, and this is where you get to see like the masterpiece come to life. And I'm having some issues with that bottom one. I throw that mask away. I try to keep my masks like, because I hate fussy cutting, and. Um, so for all these videos, I've just been using the same masks because they work and no need to waste them just because they're a little dirty. And here I'm taking that same Copic marker, not Copic marker, Copic pen, and anywhere where the mask might have been over a tad bit and left like a white uh, line, I am just coloring that in so it all looks, um, I don't know, perfect. <laughs> I am a perfectionist. And then I am using the stamp set from the add-on, and I'm using Stampin' Up! Real Red Ink. And I am just stamping that um, retro Merry Christmas stamp from the add-on. I really like their add-on sentiments. They're really cool, and they really make the kit look great. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. My brain fog's been terrible. I'm wondering if it's a change in season. Like, it gets darker now. I hate that. And here is my awesome little die cutting machine that I could not live without now that I have it. Like, I keep it right on my desk right in front of me, and it is a lifesaver. I hate getting up. I'm lazy. I don't want to get up to walk across the room to die cut one little sentiment. Like, come on now. <laughs> but yeah, I am hating this change in, like, the daylight savings time. I suffer from uh, panic attacks and really bad anxiety and I've got pretty bad dis uh, depression ever since I was a kid. And so winter is my enemy. But I combat it by exercising. I have like a home gym so I just exercise as much as I can during the winter because that's the only thing that saves me. So I'm popping that up on some foam tape and I just used the 3M foam tape that I've had for eons and I went ahead and cut out most of that because you didn't need to see me fiddling around and trying to make it perfect. <laughs> but I just wanted a little bit of dimension to this card because it's a pretty flat card because I do all the stamping on there so I wanted the sentiment to pop up a little. 
And then I take some Stampin' Up! Clear Gems. And anywhere like those uh, stars are that I put on myself, like the snowflakes or whatever we want to call them, I added a gem in those. And then I also added on the sentiment those three, those stars, what are those? Explosions? Uh, either way, I put some on those too. And they do have adhesive on the back, but you know me. I like to go overboard with my adhesive, so I'm using my Multimedia Matte by Ranger to glue them on. Because that stuff really holds stuff on. So I feel much better when I use that with them. Because my family keeps my cards. Like, they don't throw them away, so I don't want them one year to get them out and everything's falling apart. <laughs> it's probably the anxiety thing. Or OCD. I don't know. Anywho, so just adding those last gems. I think the last one gave me some issues. Me trying to get it up on the scissors. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come here, you. I'm not as talkative today as I was in the last video. And so there is the card. Oh wait, I'm adding a star to the tree. It does. The stamp set does come with a um, tree topper stamp that I just found, but I just was like, eh, oh well, I'll just use one of these stars. Because I've had these stars from Walmart. They're like iron-on stars for clothing. And I've had them for probably five or six years. Because I got them when I first started out and I never used them because I'm like, why did I even buy these? But um, they were a dollar on clearance. But they come in handy for um, Christmas cards with a tree, I'm finding out. Because I've been using quite a few of them now. And then I'm adding my Wink of Stella to the tree and I believe some of the packages. Because I need a lot of glitz and glam in my life. My husband's always saying, why is it every time I look at you, you have a sparkle on your face? <laughs> I really do, and that's before I even got back into crafting. Like, for the last, like, two years, he's been saying that. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where this glitter comes from. I guess I just glitter. <laughs> and so then I'm just doing the package, and I think I do, like, a few bows. Oh, yeah, and then I do the inside. I'm forgetting everything that I did with this card. So I just stamped the Merry Christmas from the kit. I really like that sentiment. And like I like the way it's written in the cool vintage -y feel. And then I'm taking like little stars or shinies. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, and I'm stamping them there. Give them like a retro feel, I guess. I don't know. And then I just put that on the inside and then the first card is a little different where I stamped it where the package is not on the side of the car and then I used a Noel. I think I like the one that I showed in this video better than the Noel one. But that's my card. Thanks for watching.